Hi guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial to show you how to use the 1Password password generator to create strong passwords for your different logins on various sites. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the site where you want to create a strong password. In this situation, I'm going to demonstrate doing this with the Expedia.ca site. You're going to want to log in to your account. As you would normally, you can right click and then just choose your login and that'll log you in. Once you're logged into the site, you're going to want to find whichever area of the site you can change your password in. Typically, it's in my account or my profile. In this situation, it's under my account and you'll see email and password. When you get prompted for your current password, there's a couple of ways to get that password from 1Password into the site. Probably the easiest way to do it is to click on the browser extension button. And you'll see here that you get your login listed at the top because it's the site you're on. If you right click on that, you'll get another menu and you'll see username and password. If you click on password, it's going to copy that password to the clipboard. You can press OK. And then you can either paste it by right clicking paste or pressing Control V. Now you have your old password entered into the current password field. You can create your new password using the 1Password password generator. So the easiest way to do this is to again click on the button for the browser extension, click password generator, and it will bring up this dialog window. What this dialog shows you is the password that's been generated, the strength of that password, and a couple of values for the password. You're going to want to change these values based on the website that you're creating a password for. Certain websites require passwords of a certain length or that require a certain number of symbols. If that's the case, you can edit that by changing this slider or changing the uh, number of digits will actually change, for example, the number of numbers that are in the password. Uh, in my case, I'm going to leave it around five because that gives me a password which is considered excellent in terms of security. And if you look at it, it is rather difficult to guess based on the uh, complexity of that password. Once you've created your password using the generator, you can click the copy button, which is right here next to the strength indicator, and you can then click OK. In most situations, when I click OK, 1Password is going to automatically paste that newly generated password into the new password and retype password fields. If that doesn't happen, it's in the clipboard, so you can actually just, again, right-click paste or press Control v to paste that password into those fields. If you press OK, you'll see that the password does get automatically entered into these fields, and then you'll be able to click Save. One thing I want to note here is that 1Password does recognize that you've changed the login. However, it's actually prompting to create a new login in this situation. And what you really want to do is you want to change your old login information, not create a new one. So what you can do is click on this drop down and then click replace Expedia, which is the entry I already have in 1Password. So that's going to replace the entry Expedia. And I also want to check this box that says replace password only. I don't want to change my other fields because my username hasn't changed, my email hasn't changed. I just want to replace the password entry. So if you check that box and make sure that this drop down is correct, and then click Save, your password is now changed to that new complex password. If I then sign out, I can test my new password by trying to sign in the same way I did earlier, by right clicking, clicking one password and choosing my Expedia login. That's used the new password and you can see that it logs in fine, so it has changed the entry appropriately. If we want to confirm that that password's been changed, we can open the 1Password app and we can check the Expedia entry. And in the Expedia entry, we can reveal the password by pressing this padlock button. And you'll see that it's the new complex password which was just entered using the password generator. That's all there really is to creating a new strong password for your current logins using the 1Password browser extension and application. I hope this video is useful for some people. Please leave your comments and questions below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.